been fishing along this river for over 60 years. Started off fishing down here when I was little, my father fished and hunted. This is in the middle of a neighborhood. Come down here and you're like in the wilderness and you don't realize it's in your backyard. People in this community are living riverfront and they don't know it anymore. The river for generations had a reputation and it had a stigma to it, that it was a place that was dangerous, it's a place that was polluted, it was a place where crime happened, it was a place where you didn't want to be. Seeing an organization like Bartram's taking these folks in this community in Philadelphia out to be out on the water is extremely invaluable and something that's so important. One of the things that we have to do here is we have to break a lot of stereotypes. Some people will put on a life jacket, they'll go out onto the dock and then they'll just stand there and be like, I'm not getting onto a boat, I'm not getting onto a boat. And it can take 20 to 30 minutes to really get them to understand that like, if you touch this water, you're not gonna instantly melt. We wanna make sure that people from all the blocks of life are working to protect clean water. Archers is a place where everybody can come. You can be a fisherman, you can be a community member, you can be a kid who just wants to get out and learn more about the water. When I was a child, you couldn't fish in this river. This river was polluted. When you came along, all you smelt was oil and sewage. Oil tanker blew over there. It spoke the oil along the river. The Schuylkill River was on fire. Now when you look at the river, you'd never believe it was the same river. 43 species of fish in here that would have never been in this river. You'll find anglers down here almost 24 hours a day. I think that access to the river and access to the natural lands that surround the river are really vital just in the sense of giving people some space and some room to breathe. When I'm stressed, <sighs> when I need to get away, when I need to think, when I need peace and quiet, this is my place of tranquility to get away from everybody. I feel like what we really introduce people to is something that is so incredibly stress relieving that that's the biggest draw for them to come back. Every Saturday they can go out and they can just kind of blow off steam. During our free Saturday program, you can come out, minors, adults, everyone is welcome out here. We give you a life jacket, a paddle, and a boat, and we allow you to just explore on your own the Schuylkill River. I see people boating on this river and enjoying themselves. You know, that would have been an impossible thought in the 1960s. You would have been boating on an oil slick. You would have been boating on a river where there were surface fires that burned for days. I think if you just take that context of the last 50 and 60 years, then like, tell me what isn't possible for this river. But people have to experience that before they can believe. If you look at the Schuylkill River, you'll see that there are refineries up and down this river. And if it wasn't for the Clean Water Act, those refineries would be able to pollute into that water endlessly. Making sure that people understand what's happening in their water is something that all communities need to focus on. We need stronger clean water protections and not weaker ones because we don't want to go back to water catching on fire. We need to take our voices and stand up for what, what communities across the country need. For me, if I would have known about this, I probably would have been out here every single weekend growing up. I think that what we can appreciate the most is the bonds that we form between neighbors and the water that's, I don't know, 300 feet away from them. People are starting to care more and more about their environment and what's going on. It makes them want to do more. It makes them want to experience more, which is a good thing. Cities are where the people are. So if cities are not deeply engaged in the environmental movement, I question whether we are gonna have the power and the breath that our coalition is gonna to need to move the needle. I think we have been outside of the environmental movement for far too long.